Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for this uh, conference today. Um, I personally think this has been really, really interesting, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I took some notes, so I apologize for reading from my phone. Um, I really hope you uh, had similar kind of uh, revelations as I had, uh, and my kind of, uh, kind of take-home message from today is that it's a reminder. I think one of the speakers spoke about how memory doesn't work chronologically. Um, and this is something that I think criminal justice professionals really need to remember because the criminal justice process is often very linear in a way and expects uh, victims um, to speak in a chronological order. Um, and I think one of the important points was that that's why criminal justice professionals need to amend the way they work uh, and the way they interrogate and interact with victims. And I think many speakers spoke about this today. And then I think uh, this last presentation reminded us about the fact that trauma doesn't affect only victims. It also affects the professionals themselves through secondary traumatization. Um, and therefore, there really is need for more training on trauma for criminal justice practitioners. And this is something that was also raised in many of the presentations. Um, I think there was also the important point that there is technological tools that can be used, uh, such as video recordings or remote hearings. Uh, the remote hearing doesn't have to be complex. It can also just be a kind of a, I don't know, a screen between the victim and the, um, and the defendant. Uh, but anyway, to recognize that there are small but very important things you can do to actually uh, improve the victim's experience of the criminal justice process. And inherently then you work towards ending impunity if the criminal justice process is more uh, victim sensitive. Um, and then I think there was one really important point that victims don't necessarily want harsher penalties. They want justice and most of all they want recognition uh, of the wrong that they've experienced and perhaps also validation that what they experienced uh, was wrong and should be punished but not necessarily through harsher penalties. Uh, and I personally of course was very happy to hear the Prosecutor General in her opening remarks thank Heone for the training that we provided through this project. Uh, for the criminal justice professionals, especially prosecutors. Uh, and I think this is something that really needs to be rolled out in more general, hopefully at a national but also international level.